Here it is, the matchup in Attila's Deadliest Warrior you have been requesting and waiting for. And I am also very excited about this matchup. It's a great matchup. The Huskala of the Vikings, or the Forefathers. Fittingly, a few wolves running away from them here. Against the Heterea guards of the... The Heterea guards of the... Um, Eastern Roman Empire. They both wield the deadly Dane Axe. They both have a decent amount of armor. However, Huskalar have a, 62, a melee attack of 62 and a charge bonus of 87. The Heterea have a melee attack of 35 and a charge bonus of 70. The melee defense on these Heterea guards is 40, while it is only 22 for the Huskalar. Also, 135 health for the Heterea, only 99 for the Huskalar, and the Heterea guards have two precursor axes. The Huskala do not. So the Heterea guards are significantly more expensive than the Huskala. Uh, they are tier 3, while Huskala are only tier 2. So, in terms of straight up killing power, the Huskala of the Jutes. They are better, due to having a better charge bonus and better melee attack. However, their melee defense is lower and their... Uh, their... Um, their melee defense is lower and their health is lower. So let's see how the precursors impact the outcome of this encounter. So let's just pause it here. So the precursors from the Heterea guards here they took down about seven who's color and they damaged many more probably and look at this guy axe to the face so on the charge let's see pause it here on the charge due to their better offensive stats it looks like the who's color actually take a very comfortable lead destroying 40 heterea when they make contact and keep in mind that the who's color have also taken damage from the precursors. So 40 kills versus 28. That increased uh, that increase in charge bonus and melee attack seems to really help them in chopping down the Heterea guards. And all down the line here, we're going to see the same thing happening. Heterea do a bit of damage to the Huskala, about six kills. But now the interesting thing starts happening. These units are wavering at the same time. So they actually both shattered. They both broke at the same time. The Huskala might come back here. The units start wavering at the same time here as well. There are more Huskala left. But the Heterea have better... They have better um, morale. So over here, the Huskala won. Two Huskals won. Two lost. Um, so very, very even results here. There are... Let's see, there are uh, 32 Huskala left here, there are 35 here, there are 26 Heterea and 33 Heterea guards left. So this is very, very close indeed. Let's just finish this off to see who the best axes are. And both start wavering at the same time in both instances, both shatter. And I don't think you can get a more even result than this. These two units on the charge, they just absolutely obliterate each other. However, Huskala are cheaper than Heterea guards. So, in my opinion, the Huskala, although not decisively better troops, they are more cost-effective in an infantry engagement. And now what remains to be seen is how the Royal Huskala do against the Heterea guards. Strength and honor.